Hi y'all, this is Regina from Regina's Crafting and More, and welcome. So I did a tutorial earlier on um, improving the quality of your decorative fill once it's been created. So today I'm going to show you how to create that same decorative fill from scratch using um, a copy, a screenshot of your design as a, as a base, as a background. So let me go, let's see, file, new decorative fill. <clears throat> and if you notice, I have my axis turned on and I have my, my grid up on here. Not me, yeah. And you're going to have to excuse me, I woke up with really bad allergies this morning. <clears throat> so I'm going to be clearing my throat a lot. All right, so let's zoom in. So here you can see my grid, and I have it right in the middle, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is pull in a copy of the design. So I'm not one that can, um, let me back out of here so I can get go full screen. I'm not one that can uh, draw freehanded. I have to have something to go by, and I'm going to shrink this design. We're not going to go full screen. We don't want to create it to begin with full screen. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go right about there, I guess. And we're going to start creating everything from here. And I'm going to show you how you can copy just, how you can draw just one design and then copy and paste those designs and connect them, <coughs> making your creation of your decorative fills a little faster. All right, so let's zoom in on this top tulip. <coughs> Excuse me. So let me see if I can um, Well, I was going to try to move it, but it's not. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit, and not much, because if I go too far by lightening up over here on this little scroll bar, you see how it disappears. So we're just going to do one click so we can kind of see what we're doing whenever we're creating. So you're going to get your draw line tool, and you're going to create your first petal, okay, this one right here. And we want to start somewhere where there's going to be a, a line. A, okay, so let's go over this. So everywhere there's a connecting line, you're going to have, you need to have a point. Okay, a point here, point here, point here. So I want to start right about here. Because we're going to bring this part of the tulip and we want to start it like right about here so we can have the um, the stem of the tulip like right about there. <coughs> Sorry about that. So I'm going to create this first petal and I'm just going to go from point to point. And if you put a point where you don't want it, just hit your right mouse button. And it doesn't have to be too terribly straight because uh, we can come in and correct it. All right, so I'm going to come over to this second line. So we've got one, two. All right, so that's where I clicked off. And I'm not, I don't like having this here, so I'm just going to take this off right off the bat. All right, so that gives us a little bit better um shape all right so now we're going to hit our select tool and we're going to duplicate and then we're going to flip it horizontal and i'm going to get get the little four arrow icon show it up and i'm going to move it over to the second line so here's my second line here's one two 
and I moved it too far. Hello. There we go. Now we want to move it up to be even with the other one. So here's a little trick. If you come over all the way to the right, see if, yep, and you click, you get this little blue line and you can move it down. And that shows you that you've got your, your pieces that you create lined up. If you come back and you click, that line disappears. All right, so now we want to connect, we want to create the um, second part of the tulip, which is the, in the center. So I'm just going to click and come up to the center and click back down. And I want to click where the other line is so that that line connects to the one that we're making. And we're just going to come back down and we can reshape this. And we're going to come to the first line and we're going to double click. So let me move this and delete that point. All right, so now we need something to create the stem. We're going to come down and create the stem. We're using these lines right here. And I know it's hard to see, but let's see if I if I go over here and I do one click, then that disappears. So I'm going to use these lines to create the stem. So you see how this has already connected. This is already connected, and this is connected. So let's click once and bring the design back, and we're going to get our draw line, and we're going to start right here at that connection. And we'll come all the way down, and we're going to double click right there. We're going to come back to start right at that connection, come right down that line, and double click. All right, so now we have the beginnings of the flower. So now we need to get these little leaves done. So I'm going to click right here. See that little axis? So we want to, not here, but right here. We're going to click and we're just going to make some little clicks around. And it doesn't have to be very uh, round right now. So we want to click right where the line is. All right. And then we're going to select, get the select tool. I'm going to click here and we're going to duplicate and we're going to flip horizontal. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to drop it right on top of that line. And I keep dropping it too low. So move it up one. Is that the same height? Let me turn, let me turn this off a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So see, it's connected here and it's connected here. Now, the only thing that I like to do is I like to make sure that my line going intersecting has a point on it. Okay. So click the, click the line and I put a point here. Okay, and click and put a point there, and I put a point there. All right, so now we need a line across here. So we're going to come straight across. We're going to put our cursor right there, click down, and come over and double click. So now we have this connected to this, and this connected to this. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's turn our template back on. So now we need to make these lines that go up like this. So we're going to start right here at this point, this intersection, up over to this line and come down to this line. Double click. Oops. I'm right clicking to get that off we want to come right on that line and double click all right so i'm going to start right here which is the end of uh end of this horizontal i mean vertical line i'm going to click down and go over come up because i want to match over here so i need to come up to 
right about there. And I don't know if I'm the same number of lines across. So let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six lines over. And one, two, three, four lines up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to cut back down to right about there. Double click. Hello. Double click. All right. So let's take a look at that now. All right. So all of our points are on the same line. We've got this one here. And let's make sure that we are the same number of lines over. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. <clears throat> so now we have our first tulip. And this doesn't look right for some reason. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, okay, so I got it too far over. So let me bring this over here. Does that look more? Yes, that looks better. All right. <laughs> so now we need to copy this flower. Let me hit that select button. We need to copy this flower and we need to put it do one click. We need to put it, let, before we put it on the side, let's put it down here. So we're going to click home. We're going to get our select tool. We're going to highlight that. We're going to say duplicate and flip vertical. And I want to come down to about there. And I want to make sure that my center of my flower is on the center line. So I'm looking at the flower. All right. So now, because this is already selected, I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to duplicate. And then I'm going to get my, my arrows, my four arrow uh, icon. And I'm going to drag this over here. And this is why we started out smaller, so we have plenty of room to move this around. And I'm going to grab that little red circle and turn it. Let's see, how much do I need to turn it? And this is all a guessing game. And we're going to move it over. And maybe I need to turn it some more. And um, maybe I need to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to hold my shift key down on my keyboard and see how I get this double arrow down here. And I'm going to make it just a tad smaller. I'm going to drag it over here. And trying to see how much smaller I might need to make that, or do I need to just turn it more? Let's turn it more. Okay, now I've lost my, let's see if we can get it, draw a box around part of it. There we go. So maybe if I down. Let's see here. I'm trying to figure out how much we need to. Let's try making it a little bit smaller. So, oops. Select that again. And I'm looking at where the other one's going to be. I'm going to turn it a little bit more. All right. 
right. So let's let's duplicate that. Flip it vertically. I want to draw it. Drag this one up here. Oops. Okay, this is the tricky part. Getting just enough of that one. Let me zoom in. All right, so I'm going to hold down my control button and select my select tool and do. How am I going to get just that one? All right, I can't. Let me hit undo. Do again and again and again. Oh, fiddly D. Okay, it doesn't want to go. All right, so I'm going to select this. I'm going to do it again. All right, let's come over here. Let's go from the top this time. <laughs> go out just a little bit. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to duplicate. And then I'm going to move it. I'm going to get that little four arrows and move it over and we're gonna go right up to this red button and the red dot and we're gonna turn to move this thing on all right so that connects good but i think that's still a little good so let's minimize that by holding the shift button getting the double and then bring it in just a little bit so I'm going to scoot it over a little bit more. Take the four arrows, scoot it over a little bit more. Maybe turn it. I did this a little while ago and everything worked just fine. Turn it some more. Going to shrink that a little bit more. Go up a little bit more. Maybe your best going to move it up. So, wow, this just is not wanting to work like it did for me just a little while ago. All right. So let's see here. Let me pull it out. Get my arrow button. I'm going to pull it up a little bit. All right. So I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to flip horizontally. Oh, no. Let's undo that. Flip vertically. We're going to come down here. All right, I lost it. Oh, my goodness. So let's see if we can get it selected. And I need to hold my control button and select that. There we go. And I'm going to drag it out just a little bit more. Okay. So we're going to have to adjust some like the legs on here to come down and meet this. Probably going to decrease the length of that leg. These connect here. That's good. All right. So let's let's take this off so we can see what we're doing. And then we're going to going to leave that like it is. I'm going to get my select tool and we're going to drag this here and I don't like that. All right, so we're going to keep this up here. I want to move that up there. Move this up here. All 
So we need to move this one here. Move this one up there. I'm going to drag this one down here. All right. So those are connected now. So let's see if we can select these side flowers. We're going to get our select tool and we're going to come out here and highlight all of that. Yay, it worked. And then we're going to duplicate and flip horizontally and get our four arrows. And we're going to bring this over here. And then we're going to, do we need to go up? Yes, we need to go up. So you see, here's the center point and here's the center point. So we need to move this up. There we go. And if I nudge it a little bit, what I'm going to do, I'm not even going to risk it. I'm going to come in here, select my uh, zoom in tool, come right here, get my select point, and I'm going to come like that, and I'm going to connect that. All right, so let's zoom out. So now we have the everything connected that we can tell. All right, so let's um, let's select all this. Oops, helps to get the select tool. Select all this, and I'm going to hold my shift key down. And I'm going to drag this out all the way to the end. And then I'm going to hold, let go. And then I hold the shift down. I'm going to get this point and I'm drag this point all the way out. So now everything extends. So this center is a little different. But we, I think we have everything connected. So let's save this. We're going to go up here. And we're going to hit Save As. Remember, we want to put it in the Patterns folder. And I have a lot of decorative fields, so I've given them folder names. And there are decorative fields in each of these folders. But the main part is right here. And I'm going to save this as... Uh, we want to give it a different name. So let's click there and I'm going to say, I'm going to change this and I'm going to call it, call it a new thing and I'm going to take the RY off of it. Check that out. All right, so the new one is called new. And I'm going to hit save. So now we want to come back over to, let me get rid of this. We want to come back over to layout and editing. Now this was the one that I did a little earlier. And I'm going to do a new page. And I'm not going to save this. And I have my 9 by 14 hoop up here. Say so 9 and a half by 14. And I'm going to get my box i'm going to draw a box inside and fill the whole hoop up <clears throat> and now i want to go over where you normally you would come up like this if you started new okay so you want to go and select decorative fill we want to go over here and we want to find the oops, go back up back, back down we want to find the one that says new. So that's the one we just did. We're going to say, okay. Oh my. Tell me it ain't so. It's perfect, I think. All right, so let's change the size of this. It looks perfect here, but let's change the size. 2.50. Oh, that seems to be a magic number for me. Well, hello. 2.50. It seems to be where you can find, oh my goodness, 
look at that. You have one dotted line. So I'm assuming that this is going to take you up here to start. So let's see what happens. If I start this, that's exactly what it is. And there are no other jump stitches. Look at that. And it's done with no other jump stitches. Perfect. So by using this method, we now have a perfect stitch out with no tie off, one, one tie off. So there's a jump, it starts here and it finishes, let's see, where did it finish? Back this up. So let's see, I'm gonna put it further down. So it goes all the way down. It finds its own path and it will normally stitch twice over everything. That's why you don't want any extra lines. So now it goes around. It always draws this line around. I don't know how to get it off. And it does it twice. Let's see, do I have the lines turned off on here? Okay, that's a zigzag. Let's take that off. That will help. All right, so let's go all the way around. Okay, so it starts from here, it jumps, and it starts stitching right here, and then it comes back here and it ties off. So you have a tack down with tails, you have a tie off with tails down here, and it's perfect. So now, if you want it to come back in here, and you want to do some rounding on it to make it look a little ple more pleasing. Uh, you can take off your, um, draw, draw this line all the way out. Let's get rid of the drawing back there. And you can come in here, go to home. Oh, excuse me. And you could zoom in on this part and you could click here and draw this out, draw that out, and then this one in. Make that extra point, draw that one out. So you can round, go around and round each of these um, petals on the outside of the tulip. You can do that, and you'd have to do it to each flower. And you could make this a little more, um, whoops, get rid of that point. You could draw this out a little bit. I'm going to try to do it sideways. Okay, so if we come back up here, um, you can see how this and this one, because these points are not on the same axis, Let's get this out here. So that that's what you could do. Is so let's just let's take this and hit save. And I don't know that it is really gonna be that noticeable. <clears throat> let's see here. So there's your close-up. And let's um select this, go here, and find the new, okay, and there it is, so let's up here. So here's where we made some difference, is this top one. And I, I see a little bit more rounding here than I do here, but not much. All right, so let's go full screen. So we could take this and change it to an eight by eight, and oops. Okay. Let me zoom out. And I'm going to drag this box. Just drag that. All right. And I'm going to go here. We can change this to 2.00. 0. 
we have maintain aspect ratio, and then there's our design with one gel. You can take and you can change the direction of your design. Okay. Um, you can make this bigger. Let's say we want to make um, five inches. I don't know that I like that. Okay, there's the center. Maybe if we did six, let's see what happens when we do six. So you get, and if you did maybe uh, seven, it would take up most of your screen. You can do 7.5, and the whole center point is in there. Or if you just want to creep it up, let's see what 60 gives us. Maybe a little bit more until those little tiny points are gone. And there's your whole design right here in the center. Of course, I've, I've fashioned this so that all these points connected whenever I was back here uh, on the uh, decorative fill. And you might want to make these tulips smaller in order to have this more scrunched this way and have it square. But this is the basic principle uh, that you can use to create your designs. Of course, if you're starting off with something really round, like I did on the ornament, uh, which was the beginner decorative feel, then you might want to start here, but go back and forth to... Whoops, let's see here. Go back and forth to the axis so that you know that your lines are connecting as you're working and that will be a big help all right so i hope this has helped y'all and you have a little more insight into creating decorative fills from the very beginning and in the other video uh, is editing the decorative fills so that you don't have all these jump lines because every time it jumps, it cuts and leaves you a thread tails. And every time it starts, it does a tack down. And then you've got it. It jumps again. So that's going to leave you a bunch of tails on the back of your design. And this way, you only have one and one at the end. All right. Post, post on the group. Let me see what you're creating. I'd love to see how you're progressing on your decorative fields. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy.